Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just got a bunch of like t-shirts. I just did a poll on my YouTube and asked people what kind of videos they want to see and it was overwhelmingly tie-dye and ice dye videos. So um, I got some new shirts and before I do anything to them, the first thing I always do is I just wash them. They're all 100% cotton, fruit of the loom. I just got them on Amazon. I've worked with the kids fruit of the loom t-shirts a lot. Um, and they're, they're great. They really dye easily. So this is the medium. Another thing that I got in the mail yesterday is this fabric, which <laughs> looked so cute online, but if I feel it, I don't know if I like this fabric. Um, it was, it was not very expensive. So I guess what do I expect? But, um, it's printed and it's a four way stretch. I volunteered to be in a test, a pattern testing group for maternity pants, maternity shorts. So they're like, kind of like biker shorts and what I really like about the pattern is they have like a um, pocket for your phone, which that's like so useful. So I might just use this fabric anyway, even though I'm not like crazy about it, just to like test the fabric, just test the pattern, I mean, and see what it, if it, like the pattern works for me or what I would change about it. Um, so that's kind of like the point of the whole group is to just test out this woman's pattern and um, give her feedback. So I think that that could be a really fun thing. And if it's like a really great pattern, then maybe I'll find some other fabric that's like a little bit better, but I love the print. I was thinking this would be really cute with like just a black tank or like a oversized black top on top of it because these are gonna be tight. I'm still kind of like trying to figure out my maternity style. It's really hard. You don't need very much. Everyone says like, oh, you only need clothes for like a few months and it's true. But then it's like, if you don't get very much and then you're like walking around in like four outfits that are like, kind of like getting raggy, like that's so depressing. So I'm trying to like find a balance of what do I need? What do I want? What, do, what looks good on me? It's a real challenge. So anyway, it's a journey and I'm gonna to try to make these shorts. All right, let's do like a little bump update. Here is a little bump update for you guys. Um, I'm currently six months pregnant, 25 weeks. And uh, I have like a growth scan today. So that'll be interesting. I always get really nervous before any of the doctor's appointments, but I think everything's going fine. So anyway, bump update. Okay. So now I'm just putting some laundry into my washing machine. And I have to say, this is my favorite thing about our move is having this washing machine. It has changed my life so much. I use it all the time. And I'm going to make myself some decaf coffee here. And it's just instant, which I know is so lazy, but I don't want to make a whole pot for just, you know, myself. And I've been using these vital proteins in my coffee just to kind of bump up my protein intake. And you can't taste it at all. And I really like that protein powder. And I'll put the link down in the description below in case you want to check it out. Normally I do tutorial videos on my channel about dyeing, sewing, and upcycling, but I am planning on adding this vlog feature to my channel for the near future. And don't worry, I'm not going to get rid of the tutorials, but I have a lot of feedback on my Instagram about my stories where I kind of show you more about my life. So I just kind of want to go in that direction on YouTube too. <laughs> Going to the doctor's now. I'm gonna get an anatomy scan for my six month checkup. Look at this cute family of geese. 
They were walking down the tracks. So cute. So I just got back from the doctor and everything looks fine, which is great news. And now I'm gonna head in and do some more work and I'll show you my little garden that I've got going because I noticed I have some tomatoes. These have been holding up great. These are like Rio, they're called. They are thriving in this heat. It's been very hot lately. Yeah, here it is. Rio, bright white, very hardy, can deal with a lot of heat and direct sun. These are south facing, so they get sun all day. And here is our vegetable garden. And look at how many little blooms I have and the little tomatoes. Very exciting. They'll be ready to eat hopefully soon. And we have, I think all these flowers indicate that there should be a lot. And this is Husky Cherry Red Hybrid Cherry Tomatoes. So this one is going strong. This is the same one. It's not doing as well. Um, but, and then we have mint and chives that we grew from some chives we had in our fridge and our basil, which smells really, really nice. So I just got all these out of the dryer and they kind of look a little pink to me, but maybe that's just the lighting. So I'm just gonna fold them so that they don't get super wrinkly and sort them into medium and large. And then I also have my kids ones here. So I'm just gonna kind of try to keep everything together. So I just realized that these are all mediums. I thought I ordered like a medium and large order, but I guess I just got all mediums. I don't know what I did, but I think the mediums are okay. It definitely will fit me. Let me know what is the best size that you guys usually dye? What's, what's the most popular size? I know I have a lot of people who sell tie dye who watch my channel, so I'm curious to know what size is the most popular size? So next I am printing out the PDF pattern on my little printer and I'm gonna put it together, trying to be as accurate and careful as possible. I'm very excited to be part of the testing group. I've never tested a pattern. I've made lots of patterns and I've um, sewn with other people's patterns before. I actually went to school for fashion design, so I have a lot of experience with pattern making and sewing, and it's one of my favorite things to do. But testing patterns is a new frontier and a really fun project. Hey guys, so it's late at night now, and I I am up in my craft room. I had a long day at work, I had a lot to do, and then I took a nap because I was just so exhausted, and now what I wanna do is cut out my fabric, um, at least tonight, so that's what I'm gonna do, and then we'll see how I feel. Now that I'm pregnant, I know that I cannot push myself the way that I used to do and I have to take more breaks and just listen to my body. I don't want to push myself too hard. So I have been adjusting to this new workflow. So now I am going to get my serger set up and start to put the pockets together so that I can attach them to the panel. When I'm working with knits, I like to use both my serger and my straight stitch machine. I use the serger to finish the raw edges and the seams and then the double needle that I have for my straight stitch. So there's the double needle and let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see a video about double needle top stitching. 
and I will link the double needle that I bought on Amazon down below in case you want to get it. So now I have my panels done. This is the side pocket. So I just want to make sure that I am doing the mirror image on each side of the pants to make sure I have a left leg and a right leg. And I'm going to be using these clips that I bought. These are a new thing for me. I think they're so great, especially when you're using a serger. I've surged over pins multiple times and it's just sort of dangerous and you don't want to be doing it. So these, they can just clip on and then clip off. So I will put the link for those down in the description below. So here it is. They're mirrored and they're ready to sew up. So I'm just going to quickly surge the side panels and get them all together. So next what I'm going to do is hem the bottom of the legs and I'm doing this before I'm putting them together. I saw this in the tester group. Someone suggested that they do this and I thought it was a good idea so I just decided to do it that way. All right, so I got both legs put together. The rise seems supposed to be done, um, but it's getting really late. So I'm just gonna call it a night and finish it in the morning. So, good night. All right guys, so it's first thing in the morning the next day and I'm totally a disaster, but I'm gonna sew these pants up right now and I'm gonna show you what they look like. Okay, so this is the rise seam here. This is for the belly bump, and this is the back. So they're all moves together. I'm looking at them and they look like shorts, so that's kind of cool. All right, so here is the first try on, and I think that they're really pretty cute. Anyway, so the rise, I still haven't put the waistband in and you can see it's like rippling um it's just i think it's like a combination of the pattern just being a little too big for me and maybe the tension on my machine wasn't perfect i'm just gonna do the regular elastic i'm not gonna do the adjustable because i have some other things that are adjustable and i just think that they're it doesn't work for me very well so i'm just gonna do the regular i'll probably trim two inches off the top and I'll just like let her know but I mean I think it's a really great pattern and I think I will wear these shorts a lot actually <laughs> I just love the snakeskin I think it's so fun especially just with like a blank tank and I do like the fact that I could probably wear this with a crop top because I have a lot of crop tops now from you know my life before getting pregnant and I can't really wear them but it's kind of cute to have this like you know, snake skin bump, you know, going on. I'm gonna take some photos for her so that she can know what I think about the pattern. Everyone else in the testing group is doing that. And, uh, and then I'm going to trim the top and put the elastic in and they'll be good to go. And just sort of Take this in a little bit too. First I'll take this in, then I'll put the elastic in. But so far so good. So I'm just gonna take like an inch and a half off of the front rise and then I'm gonna try them on again and just make sure that it fits better before I trim off the bump a little bit um, or anymore. I just want to make sure that uh, I'm not trimming too much. All right, so I've trimmed the waistband to be nice and even and pretty. And this is what I'm going to just trim off with my serger. It's just very minimal, but I think it'll make a nice difference. I'm going to measure the elastic around my waist, like just at the amount that I think is good, and then use that. There's no elastic um, chart, but I was always taught just to kind of like measure your own elastic so that's what I will do. 
Okay, so this is probably like the most tricky part of the whole pattern. So I'm just kind of taking my time. Well, I'm gonna probably put some more clips in because this is like very tricky and I wanna make sure it doesn't get all messed up when I'm marrowing because seam ripping a marrow machine is not fun. So they're done. Here's the elastic waistband. It's still a little big for me, but you know, I have like 15 more, 14 more weeks of being pregnant. I like this pattern, it's pretty comfortable, and I like the above the belly um, thing, and there's no like weird panel thing. It's just all one piece, which is nice. And I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of them. Here's my pockets. Every pattern is like kind of just a jumping off point, in my opinion. I've never made a pattern that I haven't had to like try on and alter and like fix things and stuff. So I'll, I'll like tell her that I took about two and a quarter inch off the top here for me, but I mean, it, that could be right for someone else. So it's all kind of relative. Um, and it's better for something to be too big than to be too small in my opinion, because you can always trim, but it's really hard to add. So anyway, I'm going to do a little photo shoot in these, um, but for now, I really am probably just gonna wear them around the house and get ready for my day. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching. You guys can go and follow me on my other social medias at Onyx Art Studios, and you can go to my website to check out my online workshops and to sign up for my mailing list so you never miss a new date. If you like this video, here are some other videos that you might enjoy, and be sure to check out my channel for all of my tutorials about dyeing, sewing, and upcycling. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!